the surface of another planet and carried away in a meteorite. The meteorite might have eventually crash landed on Earth, spilling out the bacteria, allowing it to grow and flourish. It's a process called panspermia. If panspermia is true, you and I are aliens in the sense that our life did not develop on the planet that we're living now. I studied meteorites that have landed on Earth to see if they could have transported life from other worlds. This meteorite is a piece of Martian basalt. Where it came from was a large meteorite impact on the surface of Mars. It's almost an ideal delivery mechanism. It's ideal because the rock protects the bacteria from radiation and extreme temperatures in space. It would also protect it from the impact of crash landing on Earth. To test whether bacteria could travel safely through the cosmos, Malosh and his colleague Wayne Nicholson conduct an extreme survival experiment. They inject a large block of rock with bacteria and take the sample to the Ames Vertical Gun Laboratory near San Francisco. The block's placed inside a large vacuum chamber. Ready? And Malosh then fires a projectile into it at over 13,000 miles per hour. It absolutely destroyed the rock target, blasted into tiny fragments. Amazingly, despite the rock being virtually vaporized, the bacteria survive intact. 